Hey you guys, it's Tamia. Hope y'all are having an awesome day today or night whenever you're watching this. Today my mom is coming over. I'm sure some of y'all already met my mom, but those of you who are new to my channel, my mom is pretty awesome. She's visually impaired, she's blind. She's been blind since she was five years old. She contracted spinal meningitis. She had a really, really high temperature. It was so high that she said that she had to be put in a cooler of ice. Her temperature affected her nerves in her eyes and therefore it made her blind. She started going to the school here in Alabama called the Alabama School for the Blind. It's a school especially made for people who have visual impairments. And so they just taught her. She learned, you know, the basic stuff that you learn in school. But also they taught her how to function in the world. She's not dependent on much uh, and she taught me how to not depend on a lot of things and so I get my strength and everything from my mom because she taught me that even though you have disability you can do whatever you want you can be whatever you want I mean you might have to have some adaptations but you can still do it but anyway she's coming over for the week and her birthday is this coming Tuesday so <laughs> Derek and I've been trying to prepare like to see what can we get her, or what can we do for her. It's always awesome to see my mom, always. I'm so excited, I can't wait. Good weather, got these birds out here tripping out. It is a little bit cool out here. It's been warm for the past couple of days and now all of a sudden it wants to be cool outside. Ugh. The weather don't know what it wants to do with itself. Go potty. So oh, it gets out here. It takes her 15 minutes to use the bathroom. And look what she did. Eating on the park. Say hey to YouTube. Hey. I told him about how you got spider and dryness and stuff. Didn't you say that they had to put you in a cooler? Oh, uh, pack me in ice. What'd you say they had to pack you in ice? because I I can feel that it was cold. I said, you know, I said to myself, you know, why, why am I laying in these rocks? Because they like, you know, how, uh, big chunks of ice. I, I was like going in and out of uh, country school. And there's another girl in, in the community had meningitis also, but hers was a different kind of way. It left her arm hooked up like this. Mm -hmm. Her hand never did straighten out. Spider-Man and Jordan did that? It was, it was breaking people's neck. What? Mm hmm And I had it a few days for mom. Mom never took me to the uh, hospital because they just thought, you know, I was just sick. You know. I don't really, really knew what was wrong with me. Mm -hmm. My um, sister had to go to the doctor. She had, she had polio. So she um, they said, took us to the doctor, and she told the doctor that she got a sister at home complaining that the light hurt her eyes, and that was me because the light was so bright, you know, mm -hmm. and it hurt my eyes. And so that's the way it went. Were you scared? No, I didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> no, I didn't know. I didn't know I was that sick. So they got you in um, ASP and stuff. Yeah, you know, my godmother, she was a social worker in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And she found out about, <laughs> about ASD. I love school for the bar. Yeah, in Talladega. And so my parents, they took me up there. I started out in the first grade. I hated going to school. I didn't want to go all the way up there to go to school. I want to stay at home. So my mom, they didn't make me, <laughs> they didn't make me go to school. I missed so many days till I flunked the first grade. <laughs> <laughs> 
She I kept you out of school because you didn't want to go. Uh-huh. She <laughs> said, they didn't make me go. I didn't want to go. They didn't make me. <laughs> but after I flunked the first grade, then I, I uh, started going. I, you know, I was homesick. Mm-hmm. They would take me to school, and they'd leave, get ready to leave, and I'd cry. <laughs> oh. Some some blind children, you know, their parents let them go to the public school. And, mm-hmm. you know, public yeah. school made adjustments, but I went to public school with my sisters, but I'm glad I went to the blind school because, you know, they, they really teach you to be independent if you really want to be independent, you know. Yeah, because they don't teach that in public school. No, public school, you really on your own. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sometimes you have a school where they really help, but sometimes they don't. Half time public school don't don't help the regular kids that go there. Where is it? Where is What is that? The thing that she bought with the purple. What thing? Okay. Uh, Why are you trying to be secret about she in the town? Is it sweet? You got bacon on it? Where? Is that bake? Oh. Bread. Alright. Food and aspiration. Yeah. <laughs> now you told me I'm using words that so don't fit. That makes more sense than uh, yo uh I said ingenuity. That is not ingenuity. That's I guess it is ingenuity. <laughs> I leave on a happy face. Yeah. You leave on a happy face? Mm. That's a, don't you mean happy note? <laughs> don't you mean happy note? Happy note. Yeah, you said face. That <laughs> made no sense. <laughs> it's mama's mama's birthday cake. Alright, so you got food. Hey, watch your cake. It's a white, it's a uh, yellow cake with a uh, white icing and it has purple, purple, uh, it has purple flowers mm-hmm. and it has a green. The purple is your favorite color. And the green represents of March, uh, spring, and uh, it says happy birthday, mom. Oh, that's sweet. Mm. Oh. Mm. Hey, can I get a hug? Good night, mom. Good night.